Come on in, make yourself comfortable. Yes. Thank you so much. I ordered this yesterday. Oh my god! You want I've got tears in my eyes. Yeah. See, really? Would you go on? I was like focused on, but you were like having like a religious experience in front of this <laughs> tank or something. We should be very proud. This is so difficult to do. You think? Yeah. <laughs> one zombie in there. Let me tell what one is. Yeah, right here, right? Wow. So we had the opportunity of going back to my alma mater state, Wisconsin. We had a great time at MACNA. We met people that I haven't seen in many years. It was great getting together with these people, um, these old timers and a bunch of new timers. We thoroughly enjoyed the speech we gave on building and maintaining an industrial type tank. But really, really best part for me was sharing that hobby and passion with those people. We had quite a good time with them. So we come back from Macna, thought maybe we'd have a day or two of rest. Not really. Already having guests coming over. We are expecting a fan from Tidal Gardens and Brandy from Elos. I'm fan from Tidal Gardens. I'm Brandy from Elos and co-host of Salt, Seriously Salty Science. Uh, we want them not only to have a great time and a great filming experience at the house, but we want to wine and dine them and take them out so they enjoy the fruits of New York City. I was going to say no ties allowed, but I thought that would be a little rude. Yeah. <laughs> Dressed up for, for, for the plane ride for us? Everything. How is your flight and everything? Good? It's good. It's good. Easy piece of cake, right? No issues. Hi, Brad. Hi, how are you? Hi. Careful. What are you, uh, six, seven? Seven. 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 Yep, yep. Okay. Getting close. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so much soon. for having us. I have to be able to travel soon, right? Yeah. Um, I've got Come about along. six more weeks six of months. traveling. Yeah. Good pleasure. Come on in. These are my, these are my I real love loves. I love them. These are my real oh, loves. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Three dogs. You don't want no, any great. five and two you grand dogs. Two grand oh. dogs. They're always here. I am a dog lover, and frankly, my dogs, and we have five in this house, uh, and two grand dogs, for a total of seven, I love them dearly. They are my life, and I take them everywhere I can go with them. Come on in, make yourself comfortable. Yes. Thank you so much. Drink, we're gonna have some lunch. Awesome. Come on. Yeah. Does this have a trash yeah. bag in it? Or yeah, just good, okay. good, good. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Right? Ordered this yesterday. Oh my God! You won't say it or me it. I have seen this so many times. Oh yes, yes. Right? Just, you guys, just, uh, you can't, you know, in person is different, right? I'm sure you hear that every yeah, single yeah. time, no. right? Yeah. yeah. No. It really <laughs> is quite different in person. Yeah. 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 So when I first saw this aquarium, because you we've seen it online plenty of times before we showed up, but one thing that immediately jumps out is the size of the fish. Like you're used to seeing fish of like antheas, of butterflies be like a certain size in your head and what you normally see in, in regular aquariums. And then you come and see it here and they are just like gigantic. They're like three, four times the size. <laughs> Video can only do so much. I don't know. It's like, yeah. it's like did you, did you want to I've got tears in my eyes. Yeah. See you really? Would you go on <laughs> I was like focused on, but you were like having like a religious experience in front of this <laughs> tank or something. Yeah, I walked in and I literally like, it brought tears to my eyes. I was not expecting that reaction at all. It's just, you cannot even begin to imagine how big this tank is from the videos. Like it, it yeah. just, it, I don't know how you capture that. And it, it was awe-inspiring. What does make it different? I, I, I don't know. It could be the depth. I don't know. Maybe the video doesn't pick up the depth. I've... It's, it's like emotional though, right? Like. Yeah. I, that, that's what I said about the angle tower. I mean, they're, like, so this, sorry to be nerdy, but like there's so much research that shows that like just telling people about stuff doesn't make them care about the environment. You yes. have to actually go and experience yes. it. And, like, the physical connection, like that is powerful. Because you, you, you keep hearing it, like you have to see it in person, you have to see it in person. And 
Guys, let me tell you, it, in person, it really just hits different. Like, the, the tank is so, it's, it's hard to even express, but it's so much more impressive somehow when you're standing in front of it. It's really amazing. It kind of reminds me of like before you have kids and they're like, oh, you're not gonna understand how you, much you can love someone until you have a kid. Not you. Yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and then once you have a kid and you're like, wow, like I, I totally get what everybody's saying when they say that. Like seeing this in person, you cannot put it in words. Thank you so much for letting uh, us come. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. And we're excited about you guys coming. We've been looking forward to it actually. So guys, I've been in the hobby for about 20 years and we all know that uh, there's folks in the hobby that we look up to, whether it be Mike Paletta, Sanjay, uh, you know, Julian Sprung. Uh, one of my guys is uh, Than from Title Garden, so this visit was really important to me. I wanted to make sure that Than and Brandy didn't feel like they were just coming to take pictures and a video of a tank, but they felt like they came to family and friends. So I wanted to make sure that I picked them up and dropped them off and kind of orchestrated this whole weekend for them. Of course, my wife had a lot to do with that pre the visit. So I definitely thank her for that. You should be very proud. This is so difficult to do. You think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. It, Everything it's... has to be placed by hand with a dive and someone watching from the outside. Even, even if this thing was completely empty, yeah. the engineering to make this sort of thing work is oh, so yeah. difficult. Having gone through like my uh, like development hell for like the past three months with my own facility, I like, fully appreciate like the engineering that's gone on downstairs. If this tank was completely empty, completely dry, not even running water, I would have been impressed with just the facilities and engineering alone. Because the amount of thought that has to go into something like this, the amount of complexity to make it all work and not immediately explode and catch on fire, it's serious work. It's serious like forethought that has to go into it. So yeah, the, the, the fact that it's like up and running and looking this nice, it's, it's kind of a minor marvel. The history behind the lab, when Andrew was building us out, this was supposed to be the movie theater. This was the theater room that we never theater got room. to, right? <laughs> so that's because they, this is the reason why they never <laughs> finished. I'm sure a lot of people are thinking that. So many of you don't know, uh, this lab that, that we're in right now, the original plan was a movie theater room. Clearly, that didn't pan out. And the amount of space we needed for corals and testing got out of hand and now we'll just watch TV upstairs. So Dunn, so Dunn's been wondering, are you Filipino? Uh, I, I'm not Filipino, I'm Burmese. Burmese, so Dunn, this is Brandy, Brandy Dunn. Very nice to meet you. Dunn's never had a fish tank. No. Matt, not fresh or fresh salt water. water. It's usually not oh, like this. So he worked right by, like right below my apartment and I was ready to build a team. He started helping me with my tank because I just became so busy over here. He was catching on to it, he liked it. I was like, hey, do you want to be part of Polo Reef? You want to, and he's, you want to do, do a lot of dipping? Yeah, <laughs> you know, you know, a lot of like, yeah. sure. So transitioning from being a barista to working here at Polo Reef, I've learned so much about corals. And like, you know, sometimes I go to bed, I have nightmares of pests. <laughs> oh my God, that's so much bigger than I, the picture, like. They're my twins. Because you had it in the picture, right? Yeah. So there's two skimmers and I'm sitting there looking at Than, who's pretty tall. And I'm like, I think if I was standing on Than's shoulders, I still wouldn't be as tall as these skimmers. Probably not. It, they're, it's just comically large in some extent. It's just like the fish and the coral. Like it, it's overwhelming. And there's two of them. That's the other thing, yeah. It's the mountain, huh? Going back to airlines and clams in here again. Very soon, there were too many pests. We had a page all over the sand. We had uh, pyramid scales, we had microbulb, we had all sorts of issues. We even took this tank down, there's a display, it's now gonna be a utility tank, a garage tank. And then we're gonna rebuild the clam tank. We were walking around behind the tank. I was just overwhelmed by the amount of equipment. And they're like, well, let's go down into the sub basement for the other equipment. I'm like, there's more? Yeah. And it's like these giant vats. Because we're already in like a, basically a basement. Mm -hmm. But then there's like a basement basement and it's not like a regular height ceiling. It's like 30 feet down there. And it's this full entire like engine room of the Titanic like down there. bomb shelter. Like, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's huge and there's a lot of like giant equipment down there. It's, it's pretty surreal. It's, uh, it's one of those things where you just have to like wonder like this must have been a colossal undertaking to have to put all this stuff 
that far underground, yeah, I can't even imagine. Yeah. It's gonna sound, it's gonna look really cheap. But we had a, we had such an electrical ground problem in the, in the really? whole house. The main wire was leaking. Oh. Yeah. So guys, this is where I took a shower after every dive. And let's just say it's been a pretty volatile place the last couple of months. I was getting shocked because of the stray voltage that was all around the house. Um, you know, with, with the help of a whole bunch of engineers, uh, I think we finally got this uh, problem solved. I was talking a little bit about like the education conservation stuff you do. Yep. And people have like, I feel like that's what I want to do a video on with you at some point because I feel like people just don't know all that stuff you're doing also. Yeah. Because this kind of stills the stage. Yeah. Like what is some of that stuff? I think you're working right now, but let me... Which one? Like the, all the, the conservation education stuff. Like I know you have a section on that on your... So... You will see tonight when we release a new video, uh -huh. a whole new format and a whole new like behind the scenes kind of thing. Uh huh. And the conservation slash philanthropy stuff we're doing. So it's hard to list anything definitive. Uh -huh. But it's basically funding marine science build outs in schools. Um, in Connecticut, we're talking to a, a big school, like 4,000 people. Uh, I would Florida, we're talking to that. Florida, we're talking to Guy Harvey Foundation. Yeah. Um, we're working with FAU, Florida you know, University. So you know this is what I do my PhD no. research on. My chair, though, thinks it's silly because she doesn't understand how big this stuff is and how important it is. Yeah. And I'm like, like... I think the upside is infinity, potentially, like for the hobby and for the oceans, but who knows? And for just scientists and education and engineers yeah. and technology and chemistry, yeah. like all yeah. the stuff that you have to have in here to do this. So we're just, we're just trying to find people to back and figure the right stuff yeah. out. So we're just trying to find the right ones. At Polo Reef, we take reef conservation as well as education very seriously. Um, we will be working with several people in this regard. More details will obviously be coming, but I can tell you our first choice is to provide children with marine science programs and let them interact with tanks so that we can grow the hobby and actually uh, have these kids understand what the oceans are about. Secondly, we'll be working with colleges and universities, particularly related to Florida right now and Connecticut. Uh, Florida has their own reefing issue and their, their own reefs. Connecticut has uh, a big marine science program, so we'll, we'll be working with those two states. And lastly, we'll be working with uh, coral spawners, where we think we can make a real difference breeding coral that actually have resistance to whatever elements that they're dying from at the ocean. So we can genetically engineer these things for warmer temperatures or lower pHs, et cetera, et cetera. And we can make these corals without taking them off the reef. You talk a lot about this. People always ask you, you have your law background or whatever. It was always cliche when you kept hearing like, like you don't feel like you're working when you do something you love. And you, like most people hear that and they're like, ah, oh, whatever. That's what people say. Mm -hmm. When you're actually in that situation, you start to realize it is really real. You got if you can find that thing you really love, yeah. You got to take a risk and go for it, and sure. and even just like the energy you put onto what you love is just totally different. So the way that uh, that I always kind of approach that question is, if you didn't need to work for money, how would you want to spend your time? Right. It's like that's what you should be doing, but for money. <laughs> My wife stay at home. Uh huh. Double major, smarter than me. But do an amazing job with our little one. And I told her, like, like that's we, not a we, job either. That's a huge job. It's a 24 7 job. Oh. Obviously, I help when I'm, when I'm home, but we made a decision where that's that's the route we want to go. And I was like, I'm, I'm here to support you in your career, whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. But we both made a decision, like, it's really important while I, while I was at this age, so she gets into school. My wife was like, she's never like, oh my God, I love this hobby. But when she saw what I was about to do and what Andrew and I had in mind, she was just like, go for it. So. Thanks. It, it was nice to get that support. So as you guys all know, uh, you know, our better halves, our wives, our spouses are really instrumental in this hobby because to have a supportive wife uh, means, you know, it really changes your experience. So there's no power here. 
So this is all, this live Australian hop has been here for months, and just sitting in water with a skimmer on a milk carton. Let's see if it smells like great when we first got it in. And we gotta escape it, and, 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 and this is all connected to the main system. It's the other sump that we saw down there. Okay. Okay. It's probably a good idea to have it separated. Mm -hmm. So guys, I'm gonna take this opportunity to do a shameful plug. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you have that little bell ring uh, for this channel so you see every all the episodes that come because the content is just gonna get better. I mean, we're pretty much gonna be building out a 2,500 gallon tank. Uh, John and I, along with the team, are gonna be building out the Aquascape. The computer controller is right on its way. Uh, some really cool stuff uh, that you guys don't want to miss in the next few episodes. Something else that I think has just been incredible is how welcoming everybody has been here. We got here and Andrew comes out with open arms. He's so happy to he have us here. They have planned so many things for us. So it wasn't just coming to look in the tank. It's been an actual event here. I'm a little exhausted to be honest. Yeah, because I, I was just planning on just coming in here like just I'm here focused on work and Rashida's like, Absolutely not. We need to, we need to actually go out and you need to enjoy the city a little bit. We'll his, take care of everything. They've been incredibly gracious hosts. So yeah, his wife has planned so many beautiful things. We went on a ferry down the river at night, which was just absolutely spectacular. Food's been pretty good. Yeah, Andrew Andrews had lobster for us one day for lunch. We mind blowing. I, I just cannot believe the hospitality. I can't yeah. wait to come back. Highly recommended, y'all. I'd like to also take this moment to thank Fan and Brandy for their trip. Fan spent countless hours, as you know, he's a savant with the photographs and photoing reef tanks. He spent hours here shooting our tank, shooting our systems. Uh, we expect that footage to be out on our YouTubes and, and his YouTube also shortly. So like many weekends, Polo Reef turns into a little bit of a zoo. This time, we had a couple of extra visitors pop in to an already busy day. John and Martha stop by to say hello and look at the tank. We always welcome them. And we got a surprise visitor from Robert King, the clownfish zombie expert and clownfish zombie breeder, brought over a bunch of baby clownfish for me, a bunch of black Darwins and one zombie red eye clownfish. And we will be taking care of those babies very carefully, Robert. One zombie in there, I don't know if you can tell which one it is. Yep, right there, right? Wow. Can you tell which one's a zombie? Oh I told you they were small. Can I tell the zombie? I can't, uh, uh, that one right there. Uh, yeah, you had it. Yeah, right. That one? Right in the middle. Yeah. yeah. This is the first time I'm seeing it from the side, so. John, can you do me a favor and acclimate these little baby clowns? Maybe take a little water out, put a little water in. Yeah. And we're going to put them here. Let's put me some pipes. I'm, I'm going to put them on top here. Fine. Yeah, put them up, up top here. Uh, should I, like, go back acclimate them? Yeah, acclimate them with this, with this, with this system here. New fish that come to Polo Reef absolutely have to go through our quarantine system um, just in case there's any issues or like diseases that they have. In this case, the clownfish were traveling for about two hours in a small bucket with dirty water and low pH, so we had to drip acclimate them to make sure that they weren't in shock or anything. In my opinion, this hobby, besides it being educational and charitable and relaxing and soothing, and challenging. <laughs> Having friends over that have mutual interests and getting together and talking about stuff, there's nothing more valuable than that in sharing community and friendship. That's what means a lot to me. Yo. Brother, we need your, we need your signature. This well. is great. You, you know, I haven't done this since, uh, since, since the college football days, man. Let's see if I can still do it. You know, it's so funny that John came and asked for my autograph. Uh, I played ball for uh, West Virginia University and University of Delaware. It's been some time since I've signed an autograph, but it, it, was, it was nice. I think I still got it. We're going to be heading out soon. Thank you so much. <laughs> really great having you guys, yeah. really. No, it's been fantastic. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You. You've been amazing. You guys were great. <laughs> Easy. Easy to host. 
and jo John and Mark Dyer <laughs> are, are going to come back next time, uh, Andrew, with the a third chord they made. That's like. it. Yeah. That's it. Now. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe, be, off, right? maybe try to win a peppermint angel. Okay. okay. <laughs> We're gonna put it out there. <laughs> the magic. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Uh, they're, they're gonna go look yeah. at their new film. Oh, no, you want a hug too? You want a hug too? Okay. Okay. So after an exhausting week and it's late on Sunday, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. I really appreciate you coming here and enjoyed very much the company that we shared. To me, this is this is what this hobby's about. We'll see you soon. She's so sweet. She's so smart. All right. Four thousand already. Don't write money to stuff in the soap. I even told them all. Okay. We will get the um, the episode out by Friday. Episode two. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Yo, brother, we need your we need your signature. This is crazy. You know, you know I haven't done this since. Uh, since the, the college football days, man. Let's see if I can still do it. Let's see. Oh, you still got it, man. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> but Instagram, which is what really is big. But he, he was just having fun with putting, you know, he used to actually turn on his sound system. And just, and just, uh, just pretend I'm not here. You know, if this is like the Kardashians, yeah. like the reality yeah. show, something like that. That's really bad. Yeah. Oh, my Thank God. you. <laughs> <laughs>